Well, let's now pass to the final and most difficult part of this lecture, namely <coughs> the addressing of uh, global ethical issues and basic scientific aspect. Ladies and gentlemen, until I, I, I accept the privilege, I consider a privilege, of being a citizen of the United States of America, for which reason I'm bearing for this lecture the American flag, it is my duty to denounce the status of basic science in our country. For a very, very, uh, sim very simple reason that, um, as now admitted by many, although not yet by all, our country is in a fast and rapid decline. Unless this process <laughs> is stopped with some form of revitalization uh, uh, of uh, rebirth, then uh, the, the decay may reach a level that are uncontrollable. Already now, as a scientist, I am uh, forced to, uh, to reach abroad for a number of measurement, basic measurements that I used to do in the United States, not anymore. When in my work as a scientist of uh, a number of corporations, I'm forced to buy abroad a number of um, even fundamental items such as or materials such as, um, such as um, electrodes or, or carbon or basic process such as uh, pressure swing adsorption for the separation of hydrogen. I, I could find non uh, non-commercially av anymore available in the United States. And this trend has been in not only increasing in time, has been accelerating with time. So conclusion, again, until I accept the privilege, which I consider a privilege, of being a, a, a citizen of the United States of America, I have to speak out and present my view and my denunciation of the origin of this decay for what I can do, which is the scientific part. In any case, I believe that the decay in science is one of the primary reasons of the decay in other branches of uh, other segments of our life. Because uh, science is, uh, the decay in science is, is, gives you the temperature of the entire country in any case, vice versa. If we manage, as we will propose at the end of this final part, if we manage to promote a, a, a structural rebirth of our science, a new renaissance, which in America is possible, indeed, is not only is op is opposed by organized interest in you know, Einstein, but is within, uh, within, has already uh, occurred in America. I am an American. The point is that um, by, by surpassing Einstein, there is an endless number of new technology we have already new fuel, a series of new fuels with a, a new chemical structure that is now sold all over the world. New chemical structure with new principle of comp all based on surpass of Einstein. We already have um, uh, established truly controllable <coughs> fusion that emits no harmful radiation and release no radioactive waste. They are truly controllable. They've been confirmed by independent, uh, independent nuclear physics. It, uh, th this and many others are not dreams. This, all, all these um, this, um, possibilities for America are suppressed, truncated, discredited by organized interest on Einstein theory. So unless we have a courage, first of denouncing disorganized interest and then uh, eliminating them from our land ladies and gentlemen america is doomed i'm sorry i have no i have no doubt about that it will decay 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 until finally the decay will be so dramatic beyond any level of decrival the re retrieval that it indeed will um, will lead to the major civil financial and political and military upheavals, which are already on the horizon, far away horizon, thanks God, but they are there for everybody who cares about the country can see it. Well, to, to understand, uh, to denounce this collapse of ethic with consequential enormous damage to our country as well as to mankind, 
we have to review uh, some concrete cases of what can only be defined of scientific banditism by high-ranking high uh, scientists with ri having river, using a river of money from the U.S. taxpayers. So the banditism was perpetrated under public financial support. The, do the documentation is uh, enormous. In 1984, I wrote a book, Il Grande Grido, with three volumes of documentation in uh, 1,315 pages. I believe no appraisal of the gravity of this global collapse of ethics can be, can, be, um, can be even <laughs> dreamed without at least inspecting the documentation and, uh, and in, in that uh, work. As well, there are many, many others denunciation of this uh, situation. The, the after I left um, Harvard University, because of irreconcilable disagreement on, uh, on scientific and ethic issue which my f with my former colleagues there, Steven Weinberg, Shelley Glashov, and the late uh, Sidney Coleman, after I uh, obstructed my research while I was uh, at Harvard in an unbelievable way, very deplorable, keeping in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that I was supported by the United States Department of Energy. I had grants from the Department of Energy. So therefore, those, uh, those individuals, Steven Weinberg, Shelley Glashow, and Sidney Coleman, opposed the will of the United States of America. And what was the will of the United States of America? Put the foundation at the mathematical and then at the physical level of the surpassing of Einstein doctrine, which will be inevitable. Humanity cannot die with Einstein. No, it's a Einstein is a magnificent episode in the history of mankind, now surpassed mathematically, physically, chemically, at all levels, many times over. Even to this uh, surpassing is continues to be suppressed in academia. So, after uh, um, uh, leaving uh, uh, Harvard University because of this an, 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 an incredible act of, uh, of banditism, there are acts of banditism. For instance, <coughs> I received, a, the first year I received a grant uh, from the Department of Energy, it's fully documented. They asked me the nature of the research. I presented it technically as um, doing uh, a Lee admissible covering <coughs> of the Lee theory and studied uh, the, um, uh, a Lee admissible generalization of Galilei relativity. This, uh, that eventually, this immediately, so they saw that was surpassing, uh, was, were the premises for the surpassing of um, Einstein. Technically, when you, you surpass Lie algebra, you surpass Einstein. So this is known by experts. So <coughs> the moment I, 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 pre I presented, I presented um, to the faculty of the Lyman Laboratory of Physics at Harvard University, the program accepted by the Department of Energy, actually encouraged and requested the, the, because of the implication for new uh, fuels and energy that were known since that time, then I was prohibited to receive my salary from my own grant for one entire year in full knowledge that at that time, we are talking about academic year 1977-1978, I had young children to, to, um, to feed and shelter that were um, uh, in, in tender age. This is the extreme that those individuals have achieved in the dream of bending me to abandon the, this line of research uh, of in surpassing Einstein theories. Then there are many other denunciations by several other authors of this collapse of ethics that are available in in the, by a search in the, in the Google or Yahoo. Well, let's review um, a few cases. After leaving uh, Harvard University in August 1981, our group that in the meantime had grown to a worldwide dimension, um, decided to, um, to organize our own institute. We call it the Institute for Basic Research. We purchased a Victorian within the compound of Harvard University, the Prescott House, and we initiated a study there in, in September, and I, there was an official beautiful ceremony of inauguration from, uh, with physicists from various, various countries. The, we selected them, um, uh, we elected to rem remain in Cambridge for one reason, because we needed a library. This is not needed anymore because of the, um, of the internet. The, 
Okay, well, we, uh, after leaving Harvard, having our own institute and doing our own things, we were, were, uh, we, um, were hoping that, uh, that, um, that uh, colleagues at, um, uh, at Harvard will leave us alone and do our job. No way. We were the victim of continuous harassment, discreditation, attacks, and um, and uh, the, to, to, uh, it's, uh, via act that can only be identified to be to be true as act of scientific banditism. Now, most people uh, will not believe that um, those act because um, the the primary person responsible, which are Weinberg, Glashow, and Coleman at Harvard. Weinberg is a Nobel Prize, Lasho is a Nobel Prize, and, 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 uh, and um, Coleman was a, a very famous uh, scientist in Einstein and theory. However, there is an episode that is fully documented with a witness still alive that I would like to report. It is the following. The local university in the area, in the Boston area, seven of them, jointly decided uh, to to suppress the listing in the Boston area physics calendar of the seminar by distinguished visitors of our institute. Now, this, uh, now um, um, the taxpayers as well as, uh, as, well as um, uh, fellow Americans seriously interested in the well-being of our country should meditate a moment on the implication of this act. First of all, the act established that we are indeed dealing incontrovertibly with an organized um, structure that suppresses undesired advances. Because it's not, only, not only we have three individuals at Harvard, but then we have all the fr their friends at seven different universities. So the, the episode established the, the organized, that's why I use the word organized, but that's not enough. Next, you have to understand that, um, the, that the, the IBR at that time was still under, under the uh, support from the Department of Energy. So they suppressed, they opposed, they suppressed the listing of seminars conducted under you know, a formal program of the United States government. Ladies and gentlemen, if you care about America, you have to understand that this organized structure against uh, the new knowledge uh, is uh, work with such an impunity for reason we will identify clearly later on here before the end of this lecture um, that they oppose the, the, the will of the government of the United States and they've done so with impurity for decades as a matter of fact this is an episode in the early 80s they've done worse since at that time because of the guaranteed impunity by the government, incidentally, as we will see. <coughs> in any case, <coughs> there is uh, Hussein Ilmaz, who is where I remember his uh, horror in his face when he saw that uh, in this seminar at our institute, the presence of visitors from various countries, and uh, uh, the listing had been suppressed in the Boston area physics calendar. Why? Because the title of uh, Ilmaz. Um, Ilmas talk was on the necessity of adding first order source terms in the right hand side of the field equation and as we have seen this implied the collapse of uh, virtually the entire um, books and monographs that have been written in uh, in gravitation so so with large financial I I large financial implication finally to understand uh, the implication of this only one episode among thousands only one episode you must have seen the disgust in the face of distinguished scientists that were visiting us when they left America with the pledge never to return. Because this is a suppression of the most elementary rule of scientific democracy. The most elementary. Not to ignore the suppression of human dignity as well as scientific, scientific uh, values. But, um, but this is all, but there are many other episodes of that period. There is one I have to remember because there are certain acts that if we ignore it means we don't care and means we favor the decay unless the problems are identified with clarity and, and, and the, the, the responsible people are identified. We will never solve our, our we'll never um, um, turn uh, the, the trend of a decay of our country toward a, a, a new birth. 
Another episode I have to remember, and that is was perpetrated this time by the late Herman Feshbach at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. The issue was the, it was the, 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 that addressed in, uh, in the second lecture on the limitation of uh, introductory lecture on the limitation of quantum mechanics, namely that quantum mechanics uh, in one century has been unable to represent the magnetic moment of nuclei. The, and the, the, the most plausible uh, um, uh, interpretation of this failure was that when proton and neutrons uh, are bonded together into a nuclear structure, their, uh, their charge distribution is deformed. Remember the gesture I made a number of times in the years that I do in my lecture, but it's a gesture you will never see in the best PhD courses in the United States of America or in most European countries. Namely, just to remind that perfectly rigid bodies do not exist. Now, the, the, what happened? The, 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 an experimentalist, so we propose the, to test the deformability of neutrons under sufficiently strong external nuclear fields. And we, we propose this to be, um, that experiment to be done by neutron interferometry, technically via the, the, the so-called 2 pi um, uh, uh, symmetry experiment. I think it's described briefly in uh, lecture 3A. And experimentalist uh, leaders in the field, uh, neutron interferometry, Professor Rauch, uh, uh, head of um, Atomic Institute in Vienna, uh, was working precisely in that field. And, uh, and he had indeed his initial measurement by using thermal neutron beams at, uh, in Grenoble indicated uh, precisely the predicted 1% deformation of, uh, of, of, uh, of the neutron that will immediately allow an exact numerical representation of the magnetic moment of the deuteron and solve an historical problem. What uh, Hermann Feshbach did to prevent, to suppress this experiment is simply unbelievable, but it's uh, in documented in all details in the, in the three volumes of documentation of Il Grande Grido. The, um, the, 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 um, the, the obstruction reaches such a level that through his friends in Grenoble, he prohibited Professor Rauch to have access to his own uh, experimental setup. And the experiment has been suppressed ever since. Uh, the neutron interferometric measurements have been done, but adulterated in a very transparent way by carefully avoiding uh, that neutron beam is exposed to strong nuclear fields under which the deformation is minimal and therefore, and therefore, the, the, the <laughs> therefore, the, 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 the total useless waste of public, public money. Why? Hermann Feshbach, at that time, chairman of the Department of Physics of MIT, went to such extreme of losing his dignity, losing his face, in face of an international uh, audience. Because of the experimental verification that uh, the neutron is deformable implies that uh, the limitation of Einstein's special relativity, that is why, as well as of relativistic quantum mechanics, is always the same ultimate origin, organized interest on Einstein theory first, and therefore on relativistic quantum mechanics, which follows as, um, as a consequence. Because of this, another, another, um, another um, episode of true scientific banditism, I left the Boston area, and uh, um, then I moved very happily to, to Florida. I want to close this uh, recollection with uh, my personal uh, view. I don't expect you to agree, but um, allow me to, uh, to express it. It is my opinion that organized interest in the, in, the, in the Boston area, in the physics community of the Boston area, have attempted systematically and in a way, in a protracted, in a way protracted over decades, and under total impunity that will be identified in a moment, have, um, have attempted to implement <coughs> the worst form of slavery, which is the slavery of the mind. The unfortunate slavery of the, um, uh, of the American, uh, African American was for their body. They still remain uh, with their soul and their mind, free their mind, to maintain their value, their religions, their ideals, their dreams. What, um, what uh, the, the, 
the organized interest on Einstein in, uh, in the Boston area have attempted the worst uh, form of slavery because the suppression of any, this, the, the, even the smallest possible spark of novelty over their beloved Einstein theory. This has been proven, ladies and gentlemen, beyond credible doubt. Let's, <coughs> let's pass to um, other, um, other identification of, of proven, uh, of evidence, with, with, without which we cannot draw uh, conclusion. Another case that has to be denounced, if we really care about America, is the behavior of the journals of the American Physical Society. In a nutshell, the, the, the hadronic mechanics and, and chemistry have now been studied all over the world. They have now industrial applications, the, let alone for scientific, experimental verification, industrial application, various industrial applications, new technology being developed in China as we speak. <coughs> The, um, the, the, with a, a total number of pub a publication of over 30,000, estimated number 30,000 pages have been published in the field, in journals all over the world. At the journals of the American Physical Society, the name Adroni Mechanics does not exist. Why? Because of the systematic <coughs> rejection of hundreds of papers, not dozens, hundreds of papers, not only by me, but the numerous scientists uh, the world over in uh, surpassing quantum mechanics and special relativity. The, 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 re the, re the rejection, all with hypothetical and political motivation, none with any serious motivation, only with, with the rejection, uh, 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 Dr. Santilli, the, the author does not understand particle physics, or the author is unaware of this theorem that has nothing to do with the connection of the paper. Clearly manipulated rejection. They have reached such an extreme that uh, the, the, there, was, there has been a prohibition for decades to publish papers in uh, the American Physical Society that will even quote Santilli. This is documented by many, many scientists. Uh, you can imagine the reaction of this. At one point, uh, this, uh, the, the behavior of the editor of the American uh, Physical Society was so indecent from, um, from um, human viewpoint, let alone scientific uh, view, uh, viewpoint, that, that we approached Senator uh, Billy Rackis and exposed the problem to the senator. The senator was very, re very receptive, very cooperative, and immediately wrote a, a, a letter to the president of the American, editor-in-chief of the American Physical Society of the time, uh, Leon uh, Lederman. Lederman answered to Senator Bill Irakis, papers are rejected because Dr. Santilli does not understand particle physics. Dr. Santilli does not understand particle physics. Those are papers that were technical with theorems and, um, and extremely detailed mathematical and physical elaborations, some of the most of them with experimental verifications. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why our country is in a, is in a down spiral of decay. This is the reason for corruption, because this is sheer corruption, not only scientific, but beyond scientific level. The <coughs> the, the, um, we will return on, uh, on, um, on Letterman on another aspect in a second. And so there are so many other acts of uh, uh, banditism, all perpetrated with the certainty of impunity. The certainty of impunity. We will see in a moment by the government, by our government, because of the complicity <coughs> of our government. <coughs> As another uh, episode, in 1992, I was prohibited to be part of the seventh workshop on hadronic mechanics that was held under public support at the University of Northern Iowa in Cedar Fall. Now, keep in mind that I am the initiator of, uh, I am the, the father of hadronic mechanics. At that time, as it is now, I'm still the most active author in the field. I was prohibited. Under, under public support, ladies and gentlemen, any, any American who, who, who even suspects that we have a scientific democracy in the United States of America today for qualified inquiry, that person needs, uh, needs medical attention, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot put it otherwise, because there is a limit of evidence 
of, of evidence beyond which when the evidence is denied, either because of complicity or because of need of medical, uh, medical assistance, and so on, etc., etc. The, the other uh, prohibition to attend wor um, uh, workshop at uh, Fermi Lab, etc. But what are them? And then, of course, discreditation at all at uh, the worldwide level. If you, <coughs> if you look at my so called article, they call it article, at the so called, um, on me, at the so called free, uh, free, uh, um, free encyclopedia, the Wikipedia, the, the, um, the, you see, all, everything that I, I, I presented in this lecture, in, in uh, all this lecture, they call it fringe science. Fringe science. Why? Why fringe science? Because the moment you dub a line of research fringe science, you are automatically prohibited from publishing the in the uh, journals of a medical physical society, and you are prohibited to get money from the, the uh, grants. Because Wikipedia is normally used in the, uh, <coughs> by referee in, in the reviewing process. Unfortunately, rather than using papers, they use political manipulation to, to, uh, by, by Wikipedia. The, the, um, so, the, so how can uh, America um, uh, um, turn this down spiral without re first resolving this horrendous decay of scientific ethics at so many levels. But this is not only, um, but the, the, correspondent of, um, the correspondent of this organized, organized cartel, scientific cartel in the United States of America, some of them they call it organized scientific crime, is a word now very routinely used, especially abroad. I'm sorry to repeat it, but I hope this may wake up some of our fellow American uh, gravity of the situation. Um, is that the correspondent, the friends, uh, of, um, of our um, members have reached to, uh, the dissident, um, dissident scientists all over the world. For instance, the, 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 the Professor Logunov in, uh, in, uh, in Russia, who was, uh, was known to be outspoken, uh, very valuable, was director of the, um, of the, um, uh, of the laboratory of high energy physics at, uh, in Protvino, was not a little guy, was one of the leading scientists in Russia has been silenced and totally, totally uh, um, uh, 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 terminated, uh, removed from any activity in the uh, academic community. This is very shameful for, uh, for Russia because uh, it's in violation of all uh, the history of that country for, uh, for scientific freedom uh, and, and, and the pursuit of new knowledge. Similar episodes are in, in, in England, in France, Italy, many similar episodes, so many that are unbelievable.